if you're working with dates and you don't find a value um, with, with, let's say, a lookup or an index function, Excel is going to return a, a zero value. And that can make your dates look a little look a little odd. I'm going to show you how we can clean that up and get around that. So in this example here, I've got a, a customer log. So, you know, a salesperson may have contacted these companies, uh, these people, these dates, this is the form of contact. And now I want to do a lookup to say, okay, when was the last time that we contacted um, these different companies? And so I can do this easily using the max ifs function. This is going to get me the maximum value within a range. So I'm going to specify the date that I'm looking at. And my criteria is just going to be the company name. So this is going to be equal to this value. So I'm going to look for a match. So it formats it as a number, but I can convert it into a date. by just selecting short date. And so that tells me August 2nd, 2024. I'm going to copy this down. And so you can see it's got the dates correctly, but now for this one, Blue River Technology. So it was not in this in this list, this log here. So I do not have that listed in there. So it tells me, you know, it gives me a date of 1900, which is obviously wrong, but this is the equivalent of zero. If I were to convert this to a number, it's going to give me a zero. But if I want to keep my formatting as a date and without trying to do um, an if function and make my formula more complicated, there's an easy way to get around this. And so what I'm going to do is select this entire column, select conditional formatting and just create a new rule to say, okay, use a formula. And when doing conditional formatting, you always want to reference the first cell in your range. And an easy way to check that is look right here at that reference, that cell reference. So G1. So I'm going to say equals G1 is equal to zero. So if that value is zero, because remember, this is technically a zero value. That's just how it looks like when it's formatted as a date. Now I'm going to format this and I'm going to apply a custom format. So if I want it to be blank, now I don't want to just uh, change the change the font white because, you know, what if you've got a different font color, or if you've got a different background, it's not a great way um, to make that work in all situations. Instead, what I'm going to do is instead of general, I'm just typing three semicolons. And by doing that, I'm saying there's, there's no formatting that gets applied to this. Like here, we've got all these different uh, uh, codes for what the format should look like. If I just put three semicolons, it's going to be blank no matter what. So I hit OK. Now all those values that were showing up as zero disappear. And now it's a lot cleaner. I don't have to worry about creating an if function. I'm just using the conditional format to say, OK, if it's zero, make it make it essentially disappear and by doing this it doesn't matter what my background is if i've got black font uh black background white font it's gonna uh get rid of it so it's not dependent on the background color or the font color being a specific color by using just those three semicolons it's an easy way to get rid of it regardless of the situation